Heading home after a long winter back east, once this coronavirus hit, we had to head home. Starting our day off, we had a long road ahead of us. Life can be really hard as a contractor when it requires you to be on the road a lot. Some of the greatest things about traveling the way we do is at least we both can be together with little Harlan. It's fun to travel together, make good memories. Even though sometimes it can be hard traveling in the vehicle for such long hours, long days, it is the greatest thing that we can just all be together and make memories. And at least we found many ways of distracting Harlan with writing in this books and he loves ABCs and to sing as well. <laughs> it's been fun to listen to him sing as I drive. Traveling through Nashville, home of country music. Sometimes Harlan has cute little ideas of making himself feel like he's baby Moses. For those of you that travel, we would highly recommend having lots of snacks. Lots and lots of snacks. <laughs> On our first day of travel, we really had to push it hard just because we had to try and get through four of the major states that were predicting shut shutdowns, such as Tennessee, Kentucky, Illinois, and Missouri. It's the other great thing about traveling is you get to see wonderful sights. Sights that many people don't get to see except for pictures and books and magazines. The weather can sometimes be kind of rough as you travel. You never know what to expect. And we still continue as, with, as we travel with the ABCs. It's fun to watch Harlan grow up. Some of the best places to stay are in trucker stops. It's a little noisy, but yet, hey, it's free parking. We made it to Nebraska just in time as we caught news that many of the states that, that we've already passed through were already beginning to shut down and do lockdowns. So we thank the Lord that we made it as far as we did. Well, today was probably the most frustrating day as our axle went out on our pickup. And so at this time we were sitting and waiting for a tow truck to show up and arrive and pick us up and haul us into a mechanic shop. It's not always the best place to be stuck out along the freeway as vehicles 
come flying by. But it took probably about half an hour before the tow truck finally came and picked us up. And then no more than about an extra 30 minutes they had us to the mechanic shop. And for the two days that we were broke down in Lexington, Nebraska, we took lots of time to just enjoy our short little stay there. We were able to be parked next to a community park and went and enjoyed the hiking around the park. And after a long two days of sitting and waiting for our vehicle to get fixed, we finally hit the road at a really late hour and we wanted to try and make it as far as we could. Just because we knew that it was, wasn't gonna be long that Idaho would probably be shutting down its borders. It can be really difficult when you're sitting in a car seat for so many hours. But we tried to make as many stops as we could to just stretch our legs. fun to get to see snow again. Even after being in North Carolina where it started to get really nice and warm, come back home near into Idaho and you start seeing snow. What a wonderful sight. No matter how hard things ever get, we always still have fun together. Never get tired of being together. to watch these two in the back seat. Harden loves to laugh. And out of many sights to see, this is some of the best sights to see. The border of Idaho! Yay! We're excited. Oh, Highland's excited too. Finally rolling into Boise at about 6 o'clock, had to call Grandma and let her know that we made her back. Yeah. 
And after several days driving, we had finally made it home. 